Welcome back, everybody, to Dice Station Zebra. My name is Rob, and joining me, as always, is Jocelyn. Hello, Jocelyn. Hey, Rob. How's it going? Not bad. And yourself? Can't be any better. We're about to play some Heroclix. Absolutely. And today we are playing the Heroclix Beyond Amazing miniature game scenario. This is game number four, which is taking us to scenario G. Would you that like to is tell true. Us about scenario G? I will tell you about scenario G. So first off, I'm going to tell you that we are playing scenario G as written. And the reason that is important, or as close to as written as possible, yes. is because there was a change at the last minute in the miniatures game box, and they didn't include the map that's on scenario G in the miniatures mm -hmm. game box. However, that map was included in one of the play at home kits um, with a slight name change. It was updated. So we're going to play on that map instead. So, Scenario yes. G is the Unstable Arms. At the height of the battle, Rob, Doc Ock's new arms begin to go critical. The right. fusion reactor powering them is overloading, and they're going to blow! Spider-Man and his friends race to stop the devastating explosion, while the Sinister Six try to recover the valuable tech. All right. The Spider-Man team gets to play any four Spider-Man char family characters, turn two to their 30-point line and the other two to their 40-point line. Right. The Sinister Six team plays any four Sinister Six characters. Same thing, two to their 30-point line and two to their 40-point line. We get three actions, and we're playing on Dockside Outdoor, not Hideout, because they changed the name of the map. Mm -hmm. So, um, with that said, there is a scenario that works with the map that's in the miniatures game, which you can find on the WizKids website, yeah. and you would play on a slightly different map instead. Yeah. Uh, this setup tells us that we need to destroy the blocking terrain in squares H8 and I8. However, that is also a typo because the blocking terrain is in H7 and I7. Yeah, adjacent so to we those have, two squares. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we've, we've destroyed that blocking terrain. Yep. And then you're going to place the four Auk Arm bystanders in squares H8, H9, I8, and I9. They are opposing to both teams. At the end of each player's turn, they choose an Auk Arm and make a close attack from that Auk Arm to targeting the closest character on that player's force, regardless of adjacency. So the Auk Arm is going to attack me at the end of my turn and you at the end of your turn. That's but right. we get to choose which Auk Arm it is and we get to choose which player, even if it's not, or not which player, which character, even if it's not adjacent because the arm can like reach out yes. and it has to be the closest. If they are, if there's a tie for the closest character, then you get to choose one. Right. So... The Sinister Six team will win if it KOs all opposing characters or if it KOs five or more opposing characters, including the Auk Arms. Right. And the Spider-Man team wins if the same thing happens. That's correct. So you either KO the... So you, you either KO my team or I KO your team or we get five KOs between the, doc, the, the Auk Arms and the opponent's team. This is true. Okay. So shall we take a look at the teams? Let's do it. Okay. So but before we do that. Yes. I'm going to ask you, Rob, did you yeah. choose to use any of your drop loot tokens? I did. Because I had four of those drop loot tokens, and that allows me to up the dial from a 30-point dial to a 40-point dial. And with this being the finale, I decided uh, let's bump up my two 30-point figures to 40-point figures. So I Excellent. am playing 40-point dials on Spider-Man, Spider-Ling, uh, Spider-Gwen, and Spider-Woman. And that is my team. Very, very fitting, considering the Spider-Verse movie came out the weekend we're recording this. Yes, absolutely. Which we're going to have to find time to go find, go find mm -hmm. and watch. Yep, we will. So, so tell me about your team. Uh, so my team... I don't have any drop lo loot tokens. No. I elected to boost up Shocker and Mysterio. Right. So, we have um, so they're playing on their 40-point dials. And then I have Bullseye and Venom to round out the team. Yep. Bullseye and Venom. And they're at 30 points. That's right. Okay. And let's take a look at the map. Now, this is the map. And we have put debris markers here in... Um, H7, H7 and I7. I7. Those were adjacent to the ones they listed, so I figured that must be what they were referring I to. Think that was the intention. Yep, the four Auk arms go here, and we can get started. So let's do it. Would you like to roll for your 
initiative. Sure. I got a six. Okay, that's a six, and I'm going to roll. And I got a six. We're going to re-roll. Okay, go for it. I got an 11. Well, there's no way I can beat an 11. That's not true. You could get a, you could get 12. That's true. I got a 9, so you get to pick if you want to go first or second. I would like to go second, please. Okay, you'd like to go second, which means... Um, so you I go side. first. And I choose side? Sure. Okay. Is that how that works? I don't know. I'm so confused. Every time they change how you determine who the first player is, I get confused. Yeah. But the map is already selected, so typically... Yeah. When you I... roll, you get to choose map, or you get to choose if you go first. Okay. Map or go first. So I'm going first. Um, I will start on the, the A row, because that's usually where I like to start on this side. Okay. Um, for no particular reason. And... I'm you want to tell me about your placement there? Uh, well, I will. I just have to figure out where exactly I'm placing everybody. So let's see. Um, okay. I am putting Spider Woman in A9. Spider Woman in A9. And Spider Man is in A7. Spider-Man in A7. And Spider-Gwen is in A6, and Spider-Ling is in A5. All right. Is there anything else you need to do at the beginning of the game, Rob? Yes, I do. So Spider-Ling has a special um, power on her damage dial, which is called the Pattern Maker. It grants her probability control, and it says, at the beginning of the game, turn a die to any result and place it on this card. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a 6 on her card. Okay. And it says, once per game, you may remove that die from this card and replace a die in an attack roll with it after rerolls. Now, it doesn't say line of fire or range or anything like that. It just says you may replace it. And this is a special damage power. That's correct. That she has on clicks 1, 2, and 11. Or 7, 8, and 11. 7, 8, 11, that is correct. Which is basically first, second, and last click. Correct, because we're playing. That's a B dial. That's a B dial, yep. And that's my placement, and I am set up. And it's over to you. Okay. So I have to start on the opposite side, so I'll be starting on the P line. Right. I'm going to place Mysterio in P8. P8. I'm going to place Mr. Venom in P7. P7, gotcha. Uh, actually, sorry, Venom in P6. Venom in P6, yep. Shocker in P7. Okay, Shocker in P7. Bullseye in P9. Bullseye, P9, okay. At the beginning of the game, Bullseye is going to choose a team ability. Yep. And uh, I'm going to sure I'm sure it's going to shock everybody that he's choosing Sinister Syndicate. Yes, shocked. <laughs> okay. Excellent. Well, shall we get started? Let's do it. Virtual fist bump. Good okay. luck. Okay. Fist bump to you. And uh, I am controlling the board today because you are are joining me from a remote location. As we usually um, do. As we usually do on Twitch and um yeah we'll be using grid references and i'm gonna get us started so uh, let's see now spider gwen has an ability um, special movement power free place spider gwen up to four squares away from her current square if spider gwen is placed this way she may pick up an adjacent terrain marker or put down a held terrain marker okay so i could just basically place her six squares away. I don't need line of fire or anything, right? Four squares. Four squares. Okay. Um, yeah, it doesn't say you need line of fire. Yeah. So I guess you can just like place her through walls. 
I guess so. So I'm going to put her. Oh, first of all, I'm going to move Spider Gwen, or sorry, Spiderling. She sidesteps to uh, C5. Check C5. Sorry. Okay. C. So. Yes. Okay. C5. Yep, C5. Yep. So she's in the doorway, and because she has probability control, I want her to, to be there. Um, and I think she has a range one, two, three. Oh, she does not have range on the Ock Arms. So Gwen is going to go one, two, three, four. Um, Gwen is going to use her free power to be placed in E5. All right. E5, yep. And she is going to use her perplex power to perplex down the awk arm in H8 down yep. to a 16 defense. Okay. And she is going to make a ranged attack on it. 11 Sounds on 16. Like and I got a 5, which is going to be a 16, which will hit, doing 3 points of damage. The yep. awk arm has invulnerability. So one point gets through and destroys it. This is true. So H8 is now open. It is indeed. Okay. Um, and you are taking one action. Yep. And that is one action, and I will put a token on Gwen. And then our friend Spider-Man. Oh, he's got a range of six, which is really good. And Spider-Man is going to hypersonic speed attack um, to one, two, three. So he's going to be at D6. Remember that with hypersonic speed, you have to have your range. Oh, that's right. Thank you for the reminder. Um, I will put him at... E7, so his range is 3, Okay. which means he can target the Auk Arm in um, H9. Yep. And he's got that prob behind him, and it's going to be 11 on 17. And I got an 8. Yep, that hits. So that was, I believe that was 1... Two, three, that was four. So Auk Arm's destroyed. Yep. Because three points less two for invulnerability destroys it. H9 is now open. Spider-Man moved one, two, three, four. I can still move four squares. So Spider-Man will move. I'm beginning to regret my decision one, to go two. second. <laughs> is that right? Spider-Man will move to... Um, E3. Okay. And uh, I don't think I don't know if Spider Woman can actually uh, get any damage through because her damage is only two. So, I'm trying to determine. And she's her, she's your outwit, so you can't outwit the invulnerable on the Ock Arm until like mid, mid action, right? Yeah. So what I'm going to do then is I'm going to give Spiderling a costed move to come to F9. Okay. Okay. Now that's that's going to be the end of my turn, and now the Auk Arms get to attack uh, one of my characters, which is going to be Spiderling because she's the closest, right? That's right. So I'll 
we'll look at the card again just to make sure. So uh, it says at the end of each player's turn they choose an awk arm and make a close attack from that awk arm targeting the closest character on that player's force regardless of adjacency. Okay. So the awk arm in I9 is going to attack Spiderling. Yes. And that'll be an 11 on 17. Now this is a close attack so it doesn't matter that she's in hindering, right? Uh, it's an 18. On Spiderling? Yeah, she's got a... Oh, sorry, Spiderling. Yeah. I thought it was Spider Woman. No, nope, I apologize. But, th but this is... It's a, it says on the card, it's a close attack, so, it's, so it doesn't matter that she's in hindering, right? No, I understand, so, but I thought you yep. put Spider Woman in that place. Oh, I see. No, it's Spider... I, spider I wasn't link. paying attention. Too many spiders. Yeah, there's a lot of spiders. Um, they all have oh, the yes. first name, 11 Spider. 11 on 17. <laughs> okay, 11 <laughs> on 17. Okay, that is a 10. My gosh, so, your dice continue to be hot. Yeah. So Spiderling is going to prob that. Okay. And that is a five, so that will miss. Barely. Yep. So my team is safe from the from the awk arm attack. So All right. I'm gonna pass turn over to you. Okay. I am regretting my decision to not put Hydro Man on the team. Is that right? Yep. It's okay. Well, Hydro Man has TK. Um, now that you've already taken out two Auk Arms, I'm not sure that I'm going to be able to do anything to them this turn. So, um, how are we going to do this? Are you going to do like One, me and two, go straight three, for the Auk Arms? Yeah. I just thought that you would get that really. far. I didn't think you would get that far on your first turn. So Yeah. Okay. Mysterio. Mysterio. Mysterio is going to take a costed move. Okay. And he's going to go M8. M8. Yep. And sorry, I walked away from my mic. I didn't walk away from my mic. No I moved away from my mic. I was very excited for a moment because I thought he had outwit, but I read that wrong. It's shape change. Oh, it's shape change. I thought it was outwit for a second as well. Yeah, on the dial, it's you very take dark. It back? Do you want to move um, it back? No, it's fine. Okay. Okay. I was going to... I was going to do a thing. Oh, this is okay. This is this is okay after all. Okay. So. Bullseye is going to running shot. Yep. To um M9. M9. Two, and three. he is going to make a ranged attack as part of his running shot, which he has precision strike, so the damage oh. can't be reduced below one. Gotcha, yep. And he's going to target the awk arm in um, I-9. I-9, okay. So 11 on 17. Yep, 11 on 17. Need a 6. That's a five. Oh. No. All right. Once again. Yeah. Jocelyn's uh, Jocelyn's craziness. All right, and we're gonna finish with Shocker, and Shocker is gonna take the last action, which is just gonna be a move, and he's gonna move one, two, three. Uh, four, five, six. He's going to move right up to J8. Nice. I like it. That's just a straight ahead move. Yep. And then awesome. Mysterio has Smoke Cloud is free. Yes. So he's going to go ahead and generate that Smoke Cloud. 
He's going to put a smoke cloud in each of the awk arm bystanders squares. Okay. And then he's going to put one in J9 and J8, where Shocker is. And then we're going to go with... Uh, none of these people have stealth. We'll go with uh, K8 and then in Bullseye Square as well. K7. No. Where am I doing? Not K. Oh, sorry, yes. K8 and L8. L8, right? okay. Bullseye is in L8, is that right? No. Uh, I thought he was in L... Oh, was he in L8? Yes. Okay. I had it wrong. Yeah. <laughs> I got it. Okay. Um, and you've got Mysterio in the wrong square. Mysterio yep. is in M9. Oh, an M9. Okay. Gotcha. There we go. That's the correct placement. Okay. So let's just talk about Smoke Cloud for a minute. We haven't used yes. that in a while. So Smoke Cloud says, um, opposing characters occupying one or more of these markers modify attack minus one. Right. So it's the end of my turn. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to choose the Ock Arm bystander adjacent to Shocker. And yes. he's going to be a 10 on Shocker 17. So that's going to be the one in uh, I-8? Correct. Okay. Okay. So that's going to be a 10 on 17. 17. 17 invincible. Okay. And that is only a 5, so that misses. Okay. Now, is that a roll that I can prob with? It is, right? I would presume you could prob it, yes. Yeah, so Spiderling will prob that. Okay. That is a oh, 9. Oh, that was just so mean. That's going to hit. Yeah, that was mean of me. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it sure was. Um, so I take one. Yes. Three points less you're invincible. Yep. Okay. And it's your turn. Okay. So over to me. Um... Interesting. Well, I'd like to get um, I'd like to get Spider Woman into the fight, if possible. Just trying to figure out how best to do that. Usually by moving can... and attacking. Yeah, she doesn't have the range, though, because I can only go four squares. Mm-hmm. Um, and uh, she doesn't have enough range to get actually get an attack in. So I guess we're just going to give her a costed, but maybe I think I'm going to do some other stuff first. So um, Spider-Gwen is going to perplex, sorry, yeah, perplex this Ock arm down to a 16. Okay. And then uh, Gwen will shoot because she has a range of four. One, two, three, four. So that will be 11 on, well, it'll be a 17 because it's in smoke, right? And, and, there's, and there's debris here. So it is 11 yeah. on 17 on that Ock arm in, in uh, I8. That's right. Okay. Here's the roll. Okay, that is a 7. That makes an 18, and that'll hit. Okay. So this awk arm is destroyed. Yep. Um, sorry, what did you roll? It was a 7, so with mm -hmm. her 11, it becomes an 18. Okay, so that does hit then, because he's in the smoke, right? Yep, and plus I perplexed it down. Yep. Okay. So that's a hit. Um, and then... Spider Woman is range four. So she's going to take a costed. Okay. Shocker's, Shocker's pulse wave is making me nervous. <laughs> mm -hmm. One, two, three, four, five to here. Because then the range would be one, two, three, four. Um, 
Now, Shocker does not have stealth, right? He is just... Yeah, That's right. He's, so she is going to outwit his... Oh, my gosh. Do I outwit his pulse wave or is it his uh, invincible? Tough call. Depends. I think we will outwit invincible. Okay. Because we want to get some damage through on him. So just to be clear at this point, yep. Spider Woman's taken a costed move and Spider Gwen has taken an action to kill the Ock Arm. That's right. And Spider Woman is in F8. Mm-hmm. And she's outwitting Invincible on Shocker. Got it. Okay. So yeah, then no. Spider-Man will do a hypersonic... You know what? I'm going to save him, actually. I think Spiderling will just go ahead and make the attack All onto right. Shocker. So Shocker is in the smoke, so he's a plus one on his defense. Yep, so he's an 18. Mm -hmm. And Spiderling is an 11, so it's 11 on 18. Needs a 7. Okay, I got a 7. Mm -hmm. But just for fun, let's use Spiderling's once per game ability. Yep. We're going to replace the 6 with the 6 on her card. Or sorry, the 1, one. with the 6 on her one card. 1 with the 6. The one with the six to make that a crit hit. Okay. So that turns that into a crit. So that makes it four damage. That'll be four damage on poor little Shocker. Less his invincible, so he'll take two. No, I outwitted that. Oh, right. Yeah. He's dead. He's gone. Okay. There we go. You sound surprised. Um, I thought he had one left in him, but... No, remember, I... he took one on the last turn. True. He would have had one less than him if you didn't crit. Yeah. So now I have taken four, four uh, KOs. So uh, I just need one more, right? That's right. And that's my three. And I pass turn. Oh, I have to do an awk arm now. Yep. Okay. So the awk arm will attack... Um, looks like... Oh, let's, let's attack Spiderling. Okay. So Auk Arm is in your smoke cloud, which means it gets a That's minus right. one, right? Yep. Okay. So 10 on Spiderling 17. Okay, that's a 10. That'll hit. Yep, that hits. However, I have not used probability control yet, right? Um, I don't think so. I don't think so. So I will prob that. And that is a miss. That's a 16. Yep. Now, does the Auk Arm take the one unavoidable damage? Because Sorry. of Mysterio's ability? Um, hang on, let me read it again. Yeah. One unavoidable damage. Yep, Auk Arm is dead. Okay, now that doesn't count as a KO for me, right? No, the Auk Arm KO'd itself, it just, basically. It's it's just gone. Yep. yep. Okay. Fair enough. So. But there's no longer any Auk Arms to attack us, which is a bonus. Yeah. So your smoke cloud comes down. That's right. And Sorry, did you want to move your Spider Gwen with her free ability? Oh, yes. She has. Thank you for the reminder. Yeah. And I apologize to the listeners. Somehow I keep, like, knocking my head on this microphone. I'm sorry if it's making <laughs> bad noises. Oh, no worries. Um. Spider Gwen, I think, will just, uh, one, two, three, four. She's going to come over to I3 into the hindering. Okay. And it is your turn. Spider-Man clears. Oh, yeah. Spider-Man clears. Okay. All right. Well, my whole strategy is gone. Is it? Yes, it is. Especially because I don't actually have Outwit. Yeah. So now i got to figure out what to do here. I think we're going to do... Jesus. 
I don't know why I keep hitting the mic. I'm so sorry. I can't hear it. <laughs> well, that's If it's good. coming through, I can't hear it. Then maybe the listeners can't hear it either. The watchers, the viewers, whatever the words are. All right. Um... Sorry, I'm just really flustered here. Does any of your people have stealth? Uh, no. No stealth. Okay. Well, it's a it's a risk. Okay. But um, Bullseye can see Spider Gwen, or not Spider Gwen. Bullseye can see Spider Woman. Yep. And Spider Woman only gets um, super senses on a six. And she has energy shield deflection. That's right. But she only gets super senses on a six. That's correct. Now, so, Bullseye has yep. a range of six and two targets, right? Yep. Yep. So, oh. Yeah, so I guess I'll target them both. I'll target Spiderling and Spider Woman. Okay, and he's just staying where he is? Yep, staying in his current spot. Now, he's got precision strike, right? Which means I get minus one of my super senses. Is that how that works? That's right, but it always succeeds on a six. Oh, I see. Okay. Yep. All right, so you're going to target them both? Yep, so 11 on 20 and 18. 20 and 18 because she is in the hindering, yep. That's right. All right. That's a five. Yeah. So he takes a token. It's really sad that Mysterio's range is only a four. Yeah. He does have shape change. Mm -hmm. So that might save him a little bit. Possibly. Get him in close. Um, Venom has a move of eight. Oh, and Spider Gwen's is a place, right? It's not a move. That's right. Her yep. free. Mm -hmm. All right, Venom's going to move to H8. H8. Mm -hmm. Wow, okay. It's as far as I can get, it's eight he squares. He doesn't want to go into the debris? Sure, awesome. he'll go into the debris. He'll go into H7. H7. Yep. And then Mysterio is going to move up to J9. J9, yep. Yep. And then we're going to place the smoke. One, two, three, four. So smoke's going to go in Spiderling, Spider Woman Square. Spiderling Square. It's going to go in. Uh, do, do, do. This is H9, H8, and one, two, three, four, five. I get six of these. Um, G9. Yep. And. What's that? Sorry. G7. G7. Okay. Yeah. Final answer. G7. Gotcha. Okay. And that's my turn. Okay. That's your turn. All right. Um, okay. So I think I need to pick a target here. And I get, think I'm going to try to go for Bullseye. That makes sense, right? Uh, yeah. So, yeah, it does. <clears throat> um, Spider Woman is going to running shot. One, two, three. So she's going to go to I-11. Okay. She's going to get that perfect diagonal onto Bullseye. And she is an 11 against your 17. And she doesn't want to energy explosion? 
Um, well, you don't have any people adjacent, right? No, we have two targets. Oh, that's true. Thanks for the reminder. Um, yeah, two targets then. You damage through on Mysterio. So then what I would have done is I would have used my outwit on Mysterio's shape change. Sure. Before I moved, and then I running shot to there, and I'll target both mm -hmm. Bullseye and Mysterio. Sure. Okay. So 11 plus 5 is a 16, and I do have the probability control right here. Mm-hmm. So I will prob that. And that is a three, so I've missed Aww. horribly. Sad face. Sad face. Um, okay, so Spider-Man um, is within range of Spider-Gwen. So Spider-Gwen will perplex up Spider-Man's attack to a 12. Mm -hmm. And Spider-Man is going to hypersonic um, over to... One, two, three, and four to I four. No, wait, that's not right. That's not the diagonal. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five. Actually, does Spider Man? Um, I think he's just going to go up on this elevation, maybe. So he's going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. He's going to be at um, K three. Yeah, so we're we're treating that as elevation for this game, and that's oh. what we did in our sealed game series. That's right. Because it's sort of elevation slash blocking, we're not really sure. Well, yeah, see, it's got the elevation change marker from 1 to 2 printed on it, mm -hmm. but it does have a brown box, but I believe that was supposed to be elevated terrain. Yeah, that's how we were using it previously, but just for anyone who's watching, yep. who's like, why are they doing that? Yeah, good point. So, Spider-Man is a range of 6. Oh, but he... Hold on a second. His his range is halved. That's right. Okay. So he was over at... He was at E3. E3. Okay, let me, let me fix that. One, two, three, four, five, six. So he is coming to K5. Okay. And from there, he has line of fire on Bullseye and Venom. All right. Um, yep. And I may as well target them both. Sure. Just for fun. So 11 against a no, 17. 12. Oh, 12 on a 17 and a 19, because you are in hindering with Venom. That's right, because you perplexed up. Yep. Okay. And that is only a 5. However, that'll get Bullseye. Uh, yep, it will. 12 plus 5 will get Bullseye for 3 points. 1, 2, 3. Okay. And Spider-Man takes a token. He has 2 more squares. Oh, yeah. So I can move back to Gwen. To uh, J3. All right. And then uh, Gwen clears. Mm-hmm. Spiderling clears. That's right. And it is your turn. Oh, wait. Oh, yeah. Your turn. And then your smoke yep. cloud comes down, right? That's right. Okay. Smoke comes down. Um. Okay. So, Venom has a ranged attack. He has a range yes. of three. Range of three. Mm -hmm. He's going to try and hit Spiderling. Okay. 11 on 18. 18 because of hindering, yep. Yep. At the 6. Okay. Um, I guess I'll make some free smoke. Oh, because you're tokened. Gotcha. Yep. Uh, let's see. Making smoke on your people doesn't really make a difference because they can all move and attack. So, yeah, I'll just make it on my people. So we're going to go in Mysterio Square. We're going to go um, Mysterio's yep. in I-10. No, Mysterio's in J-10. So J-10, 
I no. Where the hell? What the heck am I doing? Mysterious and J9. So J9, I9, H9, and then J8, I8, H8. That's the square. That's the squares I'm putting the smoke in. All right, give and me that then, again. You're you're in Mysterio Square, which is J9. Yep. So J9, I9, H9. Yep. J8, I8, H8. Uh, J8, yep. Mm-hmm. Which is the next one? I8. I8. H8. Okay. And then Mysterio and Bullseye will clear. Okay, sounds good. Um, okay. I think Gwen is going to try, uh, I guess we're going to try to take out Bullseye. Mm hmm So, uh, hmm. So if I come to K4, I do have Line of Fire. And I could pick up Empower off Spider-Man. Empower only works on a close attack? Oh, sorry. I was thinking Enhancement. Um, okay, so Spider-Gwen is going to move to... She's a range is she of moving or is she being placed? She's placing, yep. Okay. She will place to um, L4. So she's four away from Bullseye. She will perplex Bullseye's defense to a 16. All right. And then it's 11 on 16. Yep. Roll that five. And I got a nine. Okay. Bullseye, I think, is dead. One, two. Oh, he's KO'd. Yep. Yeah. Okay. So you well, that's, won the game. That is five KOs, and I have fulfilled the, the KO conditions. You have. Congratulations. Thanks. Um... It, the the spider family is way overpowered. <laughs> the spider especially, family, yeah. yeah. Especially when yeah. I use the loot tokens to to pump up the dials. On the last the, scenario here. The dials on the the sinister syndicate or the sinister six people on the B dials are actually okay. Yeah, they um, are. I I thought when I was looking at Mysterio that it was that it was outwit, not shape change. Which is yes. one of the reasons that I picked Mysterio. Yeah. Um, because I needed, I thought I could get the outwit, but I don't actually have outwit. Yeah. Um, and then the other thing was, uh, I thought the mind control come in, could come in handy, but with that range of four, and the fact yeah. that I chose to go second, because usually I prefer to go second, um, made me realize that that was a bad move in this particular scenario. Yeah. But even with the B dials. I still think the Sinister Syndicate team is underpowered. I think so as well. I mean, like we've been discussing through the whole series, it seems like this game is designed for the Spider family to win, you know? But in fairness, I didn't roll anything higher than a six. Yeah, your your rolls weren't very good, unfortunately. Yeah. At least in this game, I didn't roll anything higher than a six, except the initiative roll. Yeah. And that one didn't help me. <laughs> now, we were discussing this um, offline, and we had some ideas about how to even things up, and and maybe playing the villains on the B dials would be a little more of a challenge. I mean, I think it's worth a shot. Yeah, I mean, we could try that sometimes. I'd like to try a scenario that way. Maybe we could try a scenario we didn't play. Yeah. Or maybe we play one that we did play so that we can see the comparison. That's true. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we'll have to play around with that at some point. Yeah, but thanks for playing, Rob. I had a really yeah, good time. Thank you for playing. Um, it's always a bummer when your dice ro don't roll, but that's sometimes yeah. just how the cookie crumbles, you know. That's right. And hopefully, these uh, these games are of value to any new players that are uh, just picked up this game, and uh, you know they're kind of learning how to play. Yeah, definitely. And uh, the A dials are very introductory, and the B dials are certainly more advanced, but mm -hmm. um, the scenarios are designed in that way. And if you did pick up the game and you're like, well, I don't have this dockside whatever map, 
just yeah. remember that you can head over to the WizKids website and there's a whole section on the errata. Yes. And you can click and it gives you the revised scenarios or you can print a map to play at home with. So That's right. Yeah. It's all there at the uh, WizKids website. I just Googled um, Heroclix Spider-Man miniatures game errata. And it took me right to it. Yeah. Yeah. But if you didn't know there was an errata. Yeah. Right? So. That's right. Yeah. But now you do well, if you didn't know. Yeah. And that's uh, any other, anything else you want to discuss about the miniatures game? Um, no, I think it's a good entry level place to play Heroclix. I think that these dials are are fairly reasonable. I don't think yeah. really any of them are competitive at the 30 and 40 points for the amount of clicks you get. Um, but I think that there is some interesting abilities in here that might be worth playing around with. Like I didn't get to, I didn't get to fire it off because you know, you KO'd him, but um, shocker, his ability was pretty cool. So for the 40 point shocker has force blast and once per turn, when he knocks back an opposing character, you can choose that that character can't use defense powers until your next turn. So yeah. that was kind of my plan was I was going to bring shocker in to force blast people back and then have other people come in and, and take care of the defense powers because if you can't use super senses for example mm -hmm. it doesn't matter if that super senses is printed on your dial or if it's from the spider-man team ability you can't use it because it's a defense power so right. that was the idea and i probably just got a little bit too aggressive bringing him in the way i did that would have been good to try to like for example like spider gwen and spider-man both start with um, super senses plus they get the spider-man team ability bonus on that so that would be a good way to get rid of those types of characters well spiderling too yeah. starts with super senses yeah and that was my plan um mm. but i got a little bit like i said i got a little bit uh a little bit excited yeah Brought shocker in thinking he would survive a little bit longer and uh and i missed well i, I mean i had a, a bad big... calculation I had a big target on him because he is your he is the pulse waver, right? That's true. So and the pulse I wave was... could have, in theory, taken out all of those arc arms. Yeah, it could have. That would have been awesome, right? Like now, I had a strategy; it just didn't work. Now, what would have been a good strategy in this game is if you had Hydro Man with the t telekinesis power, you could have mm -hmm. TK'd Shocker up, and then basically wiped out the arc arms, right? Yeah, that would have been a better strategy. I think that would have been in hindsight, I should have played Hydro Man instead of Venom. Yeah. Well, we can play around with that offline yeah. when we run through the scenarios yeah. again, or we might even might even do another series of these. Who knows, right? Always a possibility. On Twitch. So, but uh, that's all we have for tonight, and we will we're playing this live on Twitch, but we will put this up on YouTube, right? This is what we will do. And, uh, and by we, I mean you, because you do all of that. I do all the technical stuff. And we do have a YouTube page, if you happen to be watching this on Twitch. And along with all our other links here, um, we have email, we have Facebook. You can come join our Discord. You can come find us on Twitter, Instagram, and you can find Jocelyn at her Etsy shop. And uh, when we put this up on YouTube, we do put all these links into the uh, video description. So you just can go in there and copy and paste them in. Awesome. So, yeah, and that's all we have for tonight. So we thank you for watching, and uh, we will see you all next time. Um, I think what we have coming up shortly is the uh, a new set, which is Avengers 60th, right? Avengers that's 60th right. set. So I'm really excited. That should be coming soon. So keep your eyes on our YouTube page for that. And uh, that's all we have for now. So we will say good night. Bye for now. Bye.